The sun enters Virgo on August 22nd to stay until September 22nd. The sun tours Virgo around the same time every year, mid-August to mid-September, and Virgo season is a time of productivity, efficiency, and the details. We come out of fun-loving Leo season and need to get back to work. Virgo is the sign of work, so this is the time of year when we can get to work with anything that needs our attention. This can mean our actual jobs and work projects, and we focus on trying to accomplish as much as possible. We can break down bigger projects into smaller ones to make them more manageable, and the more we do, the more we want to. Work can also mean work at home, so tasks and chores and home projects. We can clean, clear out, and get organized at home and have a system in place. Virgo is also rule over daily lives, so we may focus on trying to improve our daily lives, getting organized, productive, and efficient there as well. We can streamline and improve our routines and regimens, and while we can fill up our schedules with plenty to do, we can stick to it and be mindful of our time. Virgo rules our health as well, so this can be a time to focus on making improvements in small ways for our health. The changes to our routines and regimens may be for this purpose, and we can take better care of ourselves. This can also be a great time for routine maintenance and things like regular checkups. Virgo is a ruler of anxiety and stress, though, so we do have to be mindful of that during Virgo season. It can be easy to work ourselves too hard and worry about changes, so we also need to make sure we have a healthy outlet for stress and frustration. We're taking needed breaks, and we're not being too hard on ourselves. Now, there is one issue during this Virgo season, Mercury retrograde. It starts on September 9th and lasts until October 2nd, so into Libra season. Mercury is a natural ruler of Virgo, so we can feel pretty off during the second half of Virgo season. The retrograde starts in Libra, but goes to Virgo the day after Virgo season ends, on September 23rd. So during Virgo season, it'd be a good idea to get some of that Virgo stuff squared away before Mercury retrograde goes back to Virgo and tries to wreak some havoc. While the sun is in Virgo, it makes four aspects to the other transit planets. On August 27th, the sun will square, which is a challenging aspect Mars and Gemini. This can bring up frustrating energy. We may get into heated arguments and all fights and need to keep our tempers under control. There can be extra energy that needs to be directed in a healthy, productive way. This can help alleviate some of the frustration. On September 11th, the sun will trine, which is a beneficial aspect, Uranus and Taurus, and this can bring helpful energy for change. We can do things in different ways and may want to push outside of our comfort zone a little, but it may not feel as uncomfortable as usual. This aspect comes as Mercury retrograde starts, so an unusual, unconventional approach may help with some of the wonky retrograde energy at the start. On September 16th, the sun will oppose Neptune and Pisces, and this may steal our focus away. We can get caught up in imagination and fantasy, and fogginess sets in. We have to work harder to stay grounded in reality, while also not completely shutting out imagination when needed. Boundaries may be breached, and we need to protect ourselves better emotionally. On September 18th, the sun will try and Pluto and Capricorn, and this can help with taking some needed control. We can make small transformations that improve situations, and we can feel more comfortable with personal power, which helps with confidence and stability. For the zodiac signs, Aries can be extra productive during the first half of Virgo season, and you can make lists, get organized, and be as efficient as possible. During the second half of Virgo season, try to avoid working yourself to the max, and make sure you're managing stress properly. Tourists may feel more creative during the first half of Virgo season, and you can put that to good use in any creative projects or ventures. During the second half of Virgo season, you may want to plan for extra time to get work done and make more time to get away from work. Gemini can tackle projects at home and spend time with family during the first half of Virgo season. You can tackle emotional needs and work to feel more supported. During the second half of Virgo season, you can be extra sensitive. So try to take care of yourself, stick to what's most familiar, and try to be comfortable. Cancer may take action with your ideas and plans during the first half of Virgo season, and you can enjoy connecting mentally and keeping busy. During the second half of Virgo season, your mind may be super active, so you may need to channel that energy productively and keep busy, but also make sure to give your mind a break. Leo can focus on areas that need more stability and security in your life during the first half of Virgo season, and this can help you feel more confident. During the second half of Virgo season, you may feel stuck and stubborn and need to ground yourself and have some patience. Virgo may want to get started with something that excites you during the first half of your season, which is traditionally a good time to start new projects and ventures. During the second half of Virgo season with Mercury retrograde, try to go easy on yourself and not give in to overwhelm. This would be a good time for a second chance. Libra can work on getting things done quietly and on your own during the first half of Virgo season, and this can be a good use of your energy then. It'll help during the second half of Virgo season to have less baggage. Your energy will likely be lower as you're dealing with a lot of random things, potentially feeling overwhelmed and in need of a break. 
Scorpio may want to work on changes for the better during the first half of Virgo season. You can make strides quickly. During the second half of Virgo season, you may feel like pushing and giving into impatience. But this doesn't help much, so try to stay on the right path and work on small changes to satisfy your need for change. Sagittarius can work to achieve and succeed during the first half of Virgo season, and you may hit your stride, get recognition, or make important and helpful connections. During the second half of Virgo season, you may need to review your plans, exercise more discipline, and see where you may need to change your approach. Capricorn may pursue opportunities for new experiences during the first half of Virgo season, and you can feel optimistic about what's possible. During the second half of Virgo season, you may push for extra space, and want to get away from anything you feel is tying you down, but likely can't. So try to find a little space where you can. Aquarius can focus on serious matters requiring intense focus to research and find solutions during the first half of Virgo season. You may throw yourself into this. During the second half of Virgo season, you may be obsessive, unrelenting, and need to pull back. Channel passion positively, but also make time for breaks, space, and light. Pisces may focus on your relationships and the people in your life during the first half of Virgo season. And you may try to improve connections and be more committed. During the second half of Virgo season, you may have some issues with other people that get in the way and can feel out of sorts. Try to find some balance and a little peace. So that's it for Virgo season. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and check the description for the link to sign up for the monthly worksheet so you can easily keep track of the planets every month. Wishing you love, luck, and pixie dust this Virgo season.